Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and work on our composition books a little bit. And we're going to uh, work on, we've been working on um, decomposing numbers uh, whenever, uh, whenever we've been taking and uh, making, uh, putting things into uh, uh, like expanded form is probably one of the uh, more uh, common ways that uh, we decompose the numbers. That's basically taking it apart, breaking it down, and telling what the, the value of each digit is. Uh, we're going to do the opposite today. We're going to compose some numbers. So we're going to compose some numbers, and uh, we're going to do that on... Let me check what page we're working on here. So... We worked on 12, so we're going to work on page 13 today. So we do that on page 13. And uh, so go ahead and turn to page 13. Get this up. A little more room to work here. So uh, when we're using a place value chart, uh, we're just putting the numbers in the place value chart right there. Um, we did this activity right here where we were making, um, uh, we composed some numbers using dice or cards. So uh, today we're going to work on page 13 and we're going to uh, compose some numbers. So I'm going to go ahead on the top of my page and write a title there. So we're composing. Compose numbers. Uh, we'll go back and look at our vocabulary real quick. And compose number is to combine parts of smaller values to form a number. And that's what we're going to do. So uh, typically when we compose numbers, uh, we're going to see a, uh, a, uh, a number in expanded form. That's a real common way of seeing it. So, and we're going to work with a little bit bigger number today. We've been working with thousands place a lot. We're going to go ahead and go to the ten thousandths place. So I'm going to start with ten thousand plus two thousand plus three hundred plus forty and plus five. So that's a pretty uh, pretty easy one. So we've taken that from expanded form, and we're going to go and convert that to standard form. So that is one ten thousand, two thousands, three hundreds, four tens, and five ones. So that's twelve thousand three hundred forty-five. That's a really common way of seeing it. Okay, but uh, sometimes we may not have a value in each place value. So we had a value in the ten thousands place, thousands place hundreds, tens, and ones place. Sometimes we may not have a value in one of those places. And a lot of times it's uh, good to use a place value chart if you're, uh, if you're doing that. So we're going to go ahead and draw a line right here, separate it. And we've already talked about place value charts. And on our place value chart, we have the ones, tens, and hundreds. And we have the one thousands, Ten thousands and hundred thousands. So this is a thousands period. This is a units period. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and write a number in expanded form down here. I'm going to go ahead and place that number in our place value chart. So basically, we'll start with twenty thousand. Plus. 500 plus 50. So um, if you see, we only have three digits, and typically what I see a lot of people do, uh, they'll go ahead and say it's 2, 5, and 5. So this is how I would compose that number. So 2, 5, and 5. They'll say it's 255. That is not, not correct. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and place these digits in the place value chart. So I can take my 5 
is in the tens place, so I'll go and put that in the tens place. I have a five in the hundreds place, and I have a two in the ten thousandths place. That means the remainder of the place values have zeros. So uh, 20,000 plus 500 plus 50 is 20,550, okay? Uh, there's another way of doing it. We could go ahead and make an addition problem out of it. Make sure we're lining up the place values. So that would be 20,000 plus 500, I'm putting the five in the hundredth place, plus 50. And that's another way to do it. You could just add those up. There's a zero in the ones, a five in the tens, a five in the hundreds, a zero in the thousands, and a, a two in the ten thousandths place. So same thing, You've got 20,550. Okay, um, I brought it a little bit closer so we can see, the, see what I'm writing a little bit better. But uh, another way of, um, of um, you'll see numbers that have been decomposed. Uh, so, uh, and we're going to have this on a, a, uh, one of the tests that we're going to take on Friday. Uh, you'll see numbers that look sort of like this uh, that have been, so you it may have uh, eight ten thousands, ten thousands, okay, uh, and you may have five ones. I'm not sure if they put ands in between. Okay, and um, three thousands. You may have something like that. And w same thing, we left out some place values right there. So it'd be handy to go ahead and uh, make you a little place value chart just like we did up here. So our place value chart, if you've ever seen it on the board there, uh, we start the ones, tens, hundreds, and my next period, that's my units period. Okay, and then we have one thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. That's my thousands period. So I'll look at it. Uh, you can start from anywhere. Uh, we'll start at the very last one. We got three thousands. That's right here. Um, eight ten thousands and five ones. That means there's zeros in all the other place values. So that's eighty-three. Okay, we'll talk about how you say numbers too, because before we only worked from the thousands place this way. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why we talk about periods also. So this is a thousands period, so we can go ahead and separate that out. That's 83, and the comma says 1,005. So we say that number, 83,005. Okay, uh, I'll show you the way that um, I'll see some people. If this is a multiple choice test, right here, I'm going to A, B, C, and D, okay? I bet you, more, I bet you the first answer choice would be uh, 853, because some students will just look, I see an 8, a 5, and a 3, so it must be 853. Okay, that is false. That is not true, okay? Uh, another one say, okay, well, I recognize the place values aren't lined up right, or they're, they're not done in place value order, so I see, I know 10,000s is the largest, so I'm going to put that first, okay, and I know 1,000s is the next largest place value, so I'll put 3 there, and they just go ahead and put the 5, 5, that's in the 1's place there, okay, they may put that right there, okay, C might be the correct answer choice, they may have said 83,005, okay, another thing I'll talk to you about is, uh, I know sometimes whenever there's zeros, uh, place values, uh, a lot of times I've heard people say 83,005, okay? We don't say the word and uh, when we're talking about whole numbers, okay? We use the and when we're talking about uh, something that's less than a whole. So and's basically telling me that whatever I say after that is going to be less than one whole. So like three and a half or three and five tenths. Okay, that's when we use the word and, but typically we don't use the word and. You may catch me doing that just because it's something that you see people do a lot, and uh, I've done it before too. And uh, there uh, may be another one, uh, just another one they may say, okay, I recognize 
there's no hundreds, so I may go 8,000, 83,000, or maybe they go, there's no hundreds, so I'm going to put a zero in the hundreds place, and I'll just put a five there. Okay, but they didn't go to put it, they didn't recognize there's a zero in the tens place also. So that'd be another way that's false. And this other one is true. So whenever we're working on multiple choice uh, questions, it's also good to go ahead and check to make sure uh, all the answers, uh, look at all the answer choices and uh, make a decision. Because that way, you know, if, if you wasn't paying real close attention, you were uh, 83,500, uh, or 853, I said and, they're 853. Um, and then you look down here, well, that looks kind of similar. They all look kind of similar. Maybe I need to look a little bit closer and you'll catch your mistake there. Um, and uh, that's basically all we're going to talk about today about composing numbers.